Block, the parking lot of Lowe's in South Philadelphia is now a crime scene. An employee was shot to death there this afternoon. The gunman firing repeatedly. Action News reporter Maggie Kent is live at the scene with what we know so far. And Maggie, just a terrifying scene there earlier today. Certainly, I spoke to one shopper, Jeanette, who walked into the hardware store, not realizing what happened, walked out, and her car was covered in crime scene tape. There is a little bit of evidence left behind of what happened here at around 105. You can see some of those red chalk circles on the ground. Those are where those bullet shell casings landed, those bullets killing a 21-year-old employee. Shot nine times. Investigators say a 21 year old man was murdered in the parking lot of Lowe's on Columbus Boulevard in South Philadelphia. Lowe's corporate confirming the victim was an employee at the hardware store. A nice young uh, person who just started uh, working at the beginning of the summer is what we were told by my friends. Employees were seen visibly shaken by this murder that happened in broad daylight Monday afternoon under surveillance cameras stationed in the parking lot. Angie Parizano was inside the store during the shooting and came out to her car blocked in by caution tape. That's scary. scary. That's, that's frightening. Yeah, it could have been a scuffle bit. This murder now on par with last year's citywide total of 356 homicides in 2019, with more than two and a half months left in 2020. I want to know where Kenny is. Kenny can stop this and so can Krasner. They don't value life anymore. They, you know, it's no matter if your family, your family or my family, they'll take it out on one of your family. And we're learning now that there was another homicide here in the city of Philadelphia following this one this afternoon. And that means that the citywide total homicide rate has eclipsed that of the entirety of 2019. As far as this case is concerned, police have not identified any suspects or made any arrests. They're still investigating. We're live in South Philadelphia. Maggie Kent, Channel 6 Action News.